I think the very striking thing about Michael Cashman, whether it's as an MEP or as a member of the National Executive Committee or a valued member of the Labour Party, is you can't find somebody who'll say a bad word about him. When you meet Michael, he's, he's such a sweet man. I, f I first remember uh, meeting Michael when he came out supporting Neil uh, as leader of the Labour Party. I remember meeting um, Michael just after I became Labour Party leader. I was in EastEnders playing a character called Cindy Beale and Michael was playing a character called Colin. My first memory of Michael is as a teenager watching him on EastEnders. At the time we were both uh, successful actors and Michael was most famous as uh, having had the first gay kiss on a, on a British soap. In the first gay kiss, seeing him make history. You know, Michael's character, Colin, was just enormous and I think, you know, had such a great, it was so great for lots of young men out there. He wasn't a kind of superstar type at all, um, but I thought was really politically smart about how to go about not just campaigning for the Labour Party, but for LGBT rights more generally. Michael always stands up for rights and freedom. He was fearless. Michael Cashman is the great champion of social justice. And you could almost see him taking up first position. His back would stiffen, his shoulders would become straighter, his head would go back a little, and his voice would change in the direction of Richard Burton. And then he'd blast them. Michael has been an incredible friend uh, to me and is a huge asset to our party and to our movement. That he has made a material difference to the quality of freedom across 28 member states. And on the national executive, I mean, he took strong policy positions, but people respected him because they knew those policy positions came from conviction and came from a deep and abiding desire to see a Labour government in power. When the history of gay rights in Britain is written, Michael Cashman's role will be incredibly important. Michael, I love you dearly, I really do. Even though you gave me a terrible love bike that even toothpaste wouldn't get rid of. Thank you, Michael. So, Michael, and Paul, here's to a lot more pickling in the future. Thank you, Michael. On behalf of myself, the party and the country. Thank you very much for all you've done. God bless. I love you. Thanks, Michael. I love you. Thanks for the incredible work you've done, Michael. Thanks, Michael. We all love you. And promise this is not your obituary. You've got a lot more work to do. and We're all waiting for you to do it. Thanks are not adequate.